हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज पल्लवी चौधरी वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल हब टुडे वी विल सी द आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ एट जीरो एट सिक्स माइक्रो प्रोसेसर बट बिफोर वी स्टार्टेड आवर वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल टू गेट नोटिफाइड अबाउट आवर न्यू वीडियो सो लेट इज मूव टूवर्ड्स आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ एट जीरो एट सिक्स माइक्रो प्रोसेसर सो दिस इज द आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ एट जीरो एट सिक्स माइक्रो प्रोसेसर सो दिस आर्किटेक्चर के आर वेरी with uh, various books so i have drawn here this architecture from one book so there are the two functional parts first is a execution unit and second is a bus interface unit in the architecture of 806 microprocessor so let us see first execution unit so there are four parts in execution unit first is a flag register second is a general purpose register third is a pointer and index register and fourth is a alu that is arithmetic and logical unit this is the second part or this is the second functional unit of 8086 microprocessor so this biu having three parts first is a segment register second instruction pointer and third is instruction queue so let us see in detail execution unit so first part of execution unit is flag register and there are two types of flag register conditional flags and control flags so let us see first conditional flags so in conditional flag first flag is carry flags so this flag indicates an overflow condition for arithmetic operations if carry or borrow generate after d15 bit carry flag is set to 1 else set to 0 and the second flag is auxiliary flag when an operation is performed at alu that is, that is arithmetic and logical unit it results in a carry or borrow from lower level to upper level so lower level means d0 to d3 bit and upper level means d4 to d7 bit then this flag is set that is carry is given by d3 bit to d4 is auxiliary flag the processor uses this flag to perform binary to bcd conversion then the third flag is parity flag so this flag is used to indicate the parity of the result that is when the lower order 8 bits of the result contains even number of ones then the parity flag is set for odd number of ones the parity flag is reset then fourth uh, conditional flag is zero flag when the result of arithmetic or logical operation is zero this flag is set to 1 else it is set to 0 fifth flag is sign flag so this flag holds the sign of the result that is when the result of the operation is negative then the sign flag is set to 1 else set to 0 then sixth flag is overflow flag so this flag represents the result when the system capacity is exceeded so Uh, this flag is depend on the carry flag means overflow condition will be 1 or 0 on that condition depend uh, on that condition it depends and then the next is second flag register in this flag register the flag is control flag so in control flag first is a trap flag it is used for single step control and allows the user to execute one instruction at a time for debugging if it is said then the program can be run in a single step mode and second is a interrupt flag it is an interrupt enable or disable flag that is used to allow or prohibit the interruption of a program it is set to 1 for interrupt enable condition and set to 0 for interrupt disable condition third is a direction flag it is used in string operation as the name suggests when it is said then string bytes are accessed from the higher memory address to the lower memory address and vice versa now the second part of execution unit is general purpose register so in this general purpose register there are four registers so first is a ax register it is also known as a accumulator register it is used to store operands for arithmetic operations then second is a bx register it is used as a base register it is used to store the starting base address of the memory area within the segment data segment sorry 
Then third is a CX register. It is referred to as counter. It is used in loop instruction to store the loop counter. And fourth is a DX register. This register is used to hold IO port address for IO instruction. Then third functional unit in execution unit is pointer and index register. So there are two pointer registers and two index registers in execution unit. So first is a stack pointer register. It is a 16 bit register which holds the address from the start of the segment to the memory location where a word was most recently stored on the stack. If the stack is empty, the stack pointer will be S, uh, sorry, triple F E H. It's offset address relative to, to stack segment. Then second pointer register is BP. This is the base pointer. It is of 16 bits. It is primary used in accessing parameters passed by the stack. It's offset address relative to stack segment. Then index register. So first in index register is source index register. It is a, that is SR. It is of 16 bits. It is used in the pointer addressing of data and as a source in some string related operations. Its offset is relative to data segment. Second index register is DI that is destination index register. It is of 16 bits. It is used in the pointer addressing of data and as a destination in some string related operations. Its offset is relative to extra segment. And the last Part of execution unit is arithmetic and logical unit. It handles all arithmetic and logical operations like uh, plus, minus, multiplication, division or we can say addition, subtraction, multiplication, division or the logical operations like or and not operations. Then the second functional unit of architecture of 8086 is BIU that is bus interface unit. So in bus interface unit first part is instruction queue. So let us see in detail instruction queue. So BIU contains the instruction queue that is bus interface unit contains the instruction queue. It gets up to 6 bytes of next instruction and stores them in the instruction queue. When execution unit executes instructions and is ready for its next instruction then it simply reads the instruction from this instruction queue resulting in increased execution speed. And Fetching the next instruction while the current instruction executes is called pipelining. So this pipelining concept included in 8086 microprocessor which is not included in 8085 because it is a 16 bit register and it is having a 6 bytes of uh, instruction queue. Then the second part of BIU is segment register where there are 4 segments in segment register. First is a CS that is core segment. It is used for addressing a memory location in the core segment of the memory where the executable program is stored. And second is a data segment or DS. It consists of data used by the program and is accessed in the data segment by an offset address or the content of other register that holds the offset of address. Third is a stack segment that is SS. It handles memory to store data and addresses during execution and fourth is a ES that is the extra segment it is additional data segment which is which is used by the string to hold the extra destination data and the third part of BI is instruction pointer which is a important pointer or we, uh, we can say it is an important pointer register so it is of 16 bit register used to hold the address of the next instruction to be executed. So these are the two functional parts of the 8086 microprocessor architecture which we can see in any book. So we will meet in my next video where I will explain 8086 microprocessor pin diagram. So if you are not subscribed our channel so please 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 subscribe our channel to get notified our about our new videos. Thank you.